Hey guys, Dr. Lara here. Today I'm here with uh, Giovanni. Uh, and so what we're gonna be talking about is what to expect from your dog, in this case, an English Bulldog, on what you'll see after a brachycephalic syndrome surgery or elongated soft palate or stenotic nares, whatever, all right? Uh, stay tuned. All right, so um, Gio, uh, Giovanni came in today uh, because uh, he has uh, what we call brachycephalic syndrome. So he has an elongated soft palate. Um, he had what are called stenotic nares. And so um, this is something that we've done a video on before in regards to um, what the condition is and how we go about it. And so what I'm starting to realize is that people have specific questions about what to expect after anesthesia. So this video is gonna be more about that. Um, if you have questions about what the d condition is and the treatment, you can go to our other video on what brachycephalic syndrome is and in more in detail on the treatments and that kind of stuff. So in regards to Giovanni, um, he did have the elongated soft palate uh, performed. And so one of the things that you would expect after surgery would be you should see a reduction in the amount of uh, noise that's occurring. Um, that being said, you still may hear a different noise. And so the reason being is because they just had surgery done and the surgery is going to cause some swelling, uh, which is totally normal. Uh, and so that that's kind of what 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 you should expect. Um, the other thing is you it'll take about two weeks before the patients are completely healed. Um, and you should probably see the most significant and most dramatic and what we would think the complete um, results of the procedure. Um, that being said, uh, you may notice some coughing with some blood in it. That's totally normal. And also some sneezing with some blood in it. Um, you may or may not be able to notice it, uh, but Giovanni did have uh, surgery on his nose. Um, to go ahead and open up his airways as well as on his elongated soft palate. And so, of course, whenever we're doing surgery, we're typically cutting, um, and so there's fresh tissue. So uh, coughing with some blood is totally normal. Um, shouldn't be like a lot. It should just be small amounts. Um, same thing with the nose. Um, sneezing with the blood um, is totally normal. Now, the other thing um, to be aware of is that we will want to keep them calm for two weeks. Now, um, Giovanni is going to be sent home with Trazodone today, uh, which will be used to help keep him calm. Um, we don't want them to be too sedated um, during, you know, during this process because we don't want them, their airway to collapse. Um, so Trazodone is something that's right in the middle. He will be going home with Deramax. Deramax is not a sponsor, but um, that's the, anti the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory of choice that we use. Uh, when uh, patients are recovering from this particular procedure. Um, you'll also notice, or you may not be able to notice, but he's wearing a harness. Um, he is not wearing a collar, and even if he was wearing a collar, it would be fine for him to wear it, but we don't want anything putting pressure on the airway during those two weeks. We want the airway to be as uh, safe and free from pressure or stress as much as possible. That being said, the other thing is that we don't want, any, we don't want them engaging in any activity that's going to cause um, increased respiratory rate or increased uh, stress or anything like that. So like if, if they see somebody and that person typically gets them excited, you'll wanna try and keep that person from coming over the house for the, for the next two weeks while they're healing, assuming it's not the actual owners. Um, you won't wanna get them riled up um, just because again, you don't wanna really put any stress on that airway and you want that airway, you wanna give that airway time to heal. The other thing um, in regards to uh, recovery is food. So food, you may need to go ahead and give them um, soft food um, for two weeks. Some dogs will do fine with dry food. It's gonna be, that one's gonna be a case by case basis. And that's gonna be something that you'll kind of feel out. Um, the other thing that you'll wanna take into consideration is you don't wanna give them large amounts of water um, during the recovery time because dogs, 
Uh, some dogs will tend to gorge on water and that will make them more prone to vomiting it up. And we really don't want vomit coming back up into the airway or in that area um, because that tissue is still sensitive and we want it to heal. And of course, if there's vomiting, there's some acid in that stomach contents. And so that's not gonna be ideal for healing. The other thing, uh, especially with bulldogs, is that we uh, normally dispense omeprazole, uh, which is a proton pump inhibitor, i.e. an acid reducer, for 30 days. Most dogs that have upper airway disease usually do have some sort of reflux, um, and it could potentially even be secondary to the airway disease. So we wanna go ahead and try and minimize, again, any sort of acid that's going to be uh, potentially coming up and not allowing that tissue to heal as best as possible. Um, you can see that Giovanni is looking at one of our hospital cats. Her name is Figment. She's just hanging out, uh, making sure we're doing everything we're supposed to be doing. Um, other than that, uh, we've talked about, you know, again, just kind of recapping. Um, we've talked about making sure that they don't get excited. We've talked about uh, soft or wet food. We've talked about uh, water uh, consumption. We've talked about also uh, it's okay to see some blood um, when they cough or um, blood when they sneeze um, or even some blood in the drool um, because that's, you know, of course, part of the mouth. And then uh, the other thing that you would want to take into consideration is he is going to need to wear a cone ideally for two weeks. Uh, that's because he's got stitches on his nose and that is something that we do want to heal if he scratches it out. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, but it is something that's just not going to make it for an ideal recovery process. Um, and if you guys have any questions about this particular topic, please leave it in the comment box. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share if you know anyone who needs to watch it. Thanks for watching, and be safe. Bye-bye.